Hey guys, it's Andrew Dice from GameRant.com here today to play Resident Evil 4 Ultimate HD Edition. Uh, fans of the original game know that it's seen a bunch of remasters and updates since it originally came out, and one of them was the PC version, which was panned pretty universally. So Capcom has decided to set the record straight, cooked up this proper PC version. Pretty interesting result, so for fans of the game who are interested to see whether it's worth another playthrough, or maybe people who missed it the first time around, we're going to play through it here to see how this goes. Resident Evil 4 Ultimate HD Edition 1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Courtney, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> Oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? The amount of steam coming off of that guy's pee always creeps me out. Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. So you can probably tell there's already a few little hitches and uh, jumps. Those are. Uh, must be my imagination. They're not always there, but they are not uncommon. Sorry it took so long. It's an old game. It's an old game. <laughs> Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? The 
you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. Alright, so now begins the process of learning the controls. Anyone who hasn't played a Resident Evil game, uh... has probably heard them referred to as... Tank controls? Oh, here, I'll load them up so you can see. I'm playing with a gamepad, not a mouse and keyboard. There, okay, so you have your choices. Oh, hold on, I'll go back into that. It's not really controlling like a tank, but it definitely is not controlling like a shooter that people have become used to. As you can see, yeah. This is going to be an interesting uh, experience here. But prepare yourself for that. That's all I can really say. So let's hold down right trigger to bring the gun up. Left trigger to bring the knife out. These guys can help. Huh. Forget your makeup or something. Well, screw this guy. Huh. Forget your makeup or something. Ha! Ah, okay, fine. All right, so we'll get moving here. Luckily, the left stick moves. Oh, okay. Crows? No. Bring your gun. You're gonna want to kill crows. It's not an animal cruelty thing, I promise. Ah, oh, damn. There's another one. Oh, okay, hold on. Damn it. Okay, left trigger does not shoot. See, because you want to kill crows because crows have money. This is a Japanese game in all the best ways imaginable. Not just the voice acting. More crows. Okay. Head into the house. So you can see it's pretty, pretty looking for how old a game it is. But it really does seem like, I mean, you can only up-res assets enough. This looks kind of like a launch Xbox 360 title, I would say. Uh, excuse me. Sir? I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Sorry to have bothered you. Freeze! I said freeze! Okay, right trigger, X to shoot. Okay, and headshots don't always take them down. That's probably a good warning. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Kill everybody. Okay, let's say this guy. He is not as dumb. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that guy. That's awesome. I've never seen that happen before. He did not see it coming. Okay, let's check everything out here. I promise anyone who is skeptical of my playing abilities that this is just how you move through Resident Evil 4. This is my first shooter, I promise.
Oh, this is gonna be cool. So the usual instinct in a shooter is to just mow down guys. You definitely don't want to do that. You want to pick your shots, try and take their legs out if you can. Because they'll drop, and then you can run up, take out your knife. Oh god, oh no, that guy's not up. Okay, we'll just... We can, do, we can afford to do this now. Kick him. Yes! <laughs> Oh, I love the kick. Obviously kick any chance you get for the sake of doing that. Okay, left stick aims it, not right. That's awesome, okay. That truck drove over here. Uh oh. Oh, no. That's fine. They're probably just down there looking for their makeup. Oh! Get to those crows in a second. Always, anytime you're not in combat, take the time to gather any resources you can. You're always going to be wanting scrounging for supplies because this is a survival horror game. And a typewriter. Rose, jackpot. Yes. Okay. So you can see these crows are strapped in terms of having money, and they are also strapped in terms of carrying hand grenades. Save this little guy. He'll come back later. Uh, let's we'll watch his little jump here. I love it. Un forastero! Oh, old man. Okay, this is how you're gonna want to take down single people. Once at the legs, ah oh crap. Once at the legs, and then take them out with a knife if you can. So you limit them to one bullet. You, you can make your own strategy, I just find that one usually works. I do like the idea of someone sent to rescue the president's daughter just breaking boxes looking for coins. No sex discrimination. Legs? Legs? Huh? Oh god. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh. Luckily, these aren't zombies, but they are slow moving, so you can just turn and run if you need to. They usually wait. Okay, that guy, damn it. I'm not handling this well. Let's see if this guy's better. Where are you going, bud? There, knife him. Now, make sure you're close enough. Oh, oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. 
No, okay, not worth the bullet. Come out, come out. Right on top of them and then swipe. we have here in inventory. We have herbs. Gonna need more for this next part. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Hunnigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it, thanks. Now you get a playing manual, okay. Right trigger and A, again, it's a little weird. X shoots, A reloads. Kicks. Yeah, kick them when they're down. Uh, like, wait, look at that picture. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Inventory. Yeah, kicking. Awesome. Okay, let's go. As you can see, yeah, that is the cop. Chickens. Chickens actually drop eggs, which are like health pickups. Oh, wow. Okay. Whoa, slowing down big time. Whoa. I don't know if this is not supposed to look like the Matrix. Um... Hopefully that catches up. Wow. I have... Okay. So, it's not perfect. As you can see, the textures and everything aren't too demanding, so it is kind of a bummer that it does chug at times. Kick him. Ah, ah. Okay. Oh, this is not going well. Okay. So at some point in this fight, more guys are just going to continue to come. So you're going to want to try to run away and get them to choke points so you can do this. Ah, oh, why didn't she go down? No, 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 no. Yeah, that didn't work out well. Get the egg. You can see what the plan is. Get them all lined up, take out their legs, and then just go knife happy. Ah! Uh. Come on, what? One more? Yes, okay. Yikes. Uh. Hand grenade's gonna come in handy if I can get them bottled up. But yeah, don't think of this as Left 4 Dead anything. Think of this as, you know, a more tactical game where you have to... They're just enemies. They're not zombies. Just choke them up and try to take out as many as you can. Try to be a hero. We'll do this the right way. Oh, man. Mierda. 
This is... Uh, just use this for a dramatic effect here. That's weird, it's the exact same spot. Okay, so they're snapping out of it. Come on. Oh, damn it. They don't go. Okay, so they gotta go down to their knees before you can kick them. Here, we'll just do what I should have done the first time, which is just basically ignore them as long as you can and just run around and get as many pickups and loot as you can from all of these crates. You know, basically, they do, like, the exact number of enemies you have to take out, it's not so much take out everybody, but just kind of weather these waves until the church bells go. Here, I'm just gonna run through all of them, so I'll make this interesting. There's the chainsaw dude with the bag on his head. I'll get them into the fight. Because if I'm gonna lose, why not? Man. Still alive? Oh, okay, I just got out of here. Great slash sound effect. Just a blood balloon. Okay, so right next to the bell tower, you see, uh, there's this other house with the door open. We're gonna go in here. This brings the other chainsaw guy, but... Now just go nuts in this house. Make sure you get these under the stairs. I don't need money. I need ammo. So now we're gonna have to kill the two of the chainsaw guys before the church bells go and they uh, the level kind of ends. The enemies go away. But here's the shotgun. This is gonna help when we can choke the enemies together into big groups. And another hand grenade. Awesome. Coming up the ladder, get rid of that, and then we can jump out. 
Was? Es hora de rezar. Tenemos que irnos. What? Uh, this usually doesn't happen until you kill both the chainsaw guys. If this... Where's everyone going? Bingo? Oh, wow, okay. I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. Okay, so yeah, you normally... That sucks. You're normally supposed to kill the dudes with bags on their heads. Uh, so that's weird. You can go up the bell tower. They have ammo there, but I guess we'll just move on. To, uh, up to the gate where the other guy was with the chainsaw. I'm not gonna ask questions, I'll just get to show you a bit more than I thought I was going to. We'll just sneak our way through here. You can shoot these dudes, but, uh... I have no idea why it's chugging like that. Okay, Indiana Jones moment. Pump those arms. I'm gonna take the shotgun out because I'm I wanna get to use this and I got robbed before. Guess that guy was nervous. Oh, maybe, maybe don't shoot the dynamite. Holy crap. This guy's a machine. Okay, fine. Okay, so that guy's done. Okay, 900. That's like... Nine crows. All right, let's do this. No, 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 no. Uh. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so they're not totally brilliant, obviously, but whatever, it works for us. Whoa! Jeez! Ugh. 
Yeah, they had grenades, they were just throwing dynamite. Man! Stay down. They were swallowed by the earth, that means they're dead. Kick won't break a lock, but a knife will. Nope, nope, don't mean to save, nope. Okay, I can't say this is the best way to take care of a booby trap, but it's effective. Like them? No. You? <clears throat> okay. I have only one very important question. Do you got a smoke? Got gum. Perfect. The big cheese. What? <laughs> So I'll end it there. Uh, as, as I said before, there is normally a bigger fight to expect at the beginning with the Chainsaw Guys, but this gives you a pretty good sense of what to expect from the game. Resident Evil 4 Ultimate HD Edition, out for PC now. Uh, check out the full review on the website, guys, and I hope you enjoyed watching the video.